The best way to accept constructive criticism. Be open to constructive criticisms from others. It's the only way you can learn and grow. Brian Tracy. Criticism, even if constructive, can be tough to accept, especially if you put a lot of effort, time, and resources into something, and it's important to you. It's not easy to hear someone tell you about its faults or how it comes up short in some way. Often, the first response to this type of feedback is to get defensive or feel offended. However, constructive criticism can be incredibly valuable. When used properly, it enables you to hone whatever you are working on and improve it for the better. The next time you receive constructive criticism, keep these five tips in mind to make the most of it. Tip number one, look past your initial reaction. It's important to recognize that no matter how good you get at accepting constructive criticism, it will almost always sting at first. Humans hate criticism more than anything else and often get bogged down in the initial reaction becoming more offended the more they focus on the criticism. So when you get constructive criticism, it's easy to get heated and feel the need to defend yourself in the moment. Instead, step back to reflect on the actual feedback before acting. Most of the time it will end up making you a better person. While it's okay to feel hurt or upset at first, you need to move quickly past that and approach it with a sincere and beneficial manner. Look at how you can use the criticism to improve. See how that constructive criticism can help you learn and grow instead of just becoming angry or defensive. Tip number two, ask questions about how you can improve. Once you receive constructive criticism and have calmly looked past your initial reactions, ask for clarification. If the criticism is valid, ask the person who has given it if they have any specific recommendations on how you can improve or what would resolve their criticism. They may offer you insight that you hadn't thought about or fill in a gap that you didn't see until you received their feedback. You may then be able to incorporate these suggestions to learn, grow, and improve. Tip number three, be thankful for feedback. Because constructive criticism is an opportunity for growth, it's important to thank those who provide genuine, honest feedback. Be grateful for valid constructive criticism because it can save you from future pitfalls and failures while improving your product, service, or character. By thanking the person who offered the feedback, you can more graciously accept it while making the most of it. This will also show them that you truly appreciate their input and they'll be more likely to help you in the future. People are often hesitant to offer constructive criticism because it opens them up to criticism as well. But when you show gratitude for having received feedback, they'll continue to be honest with you in the future. Tip number four. Filter in useful criticism and filter out useless criticism. While it's important to accept constructive criticism, there are times when the criticism is not necessary or helpful. Some people come from negative backgrounds and are always looking for flaws and will aim to point them out whenever they get a chance. These people will criticize for the sake of criticizing. Be aware that this criticism is different from useful constructive criticism. It offers little value and will not help you learn, grow, or improve. If you feel the criticism you've received falls into this category, smile, thank them, and move on. However, don't fall into the trap where you view all criticism as unfounded, as most really is genuine and well-meaning. This is where you'll need to identify which points of criticism can help you and which are more emotional and subjective to the person providing feedback. It will take honest introspection and setting aside your own attachment and emotions to determine the difference between constructive criticism and useless criticism. Tip number five, create an action plan and discuss how to make changes. Constructive criticism is only useful if it creates a change and causes a beneficial action. This is where it's important to take what you've learned from the constructive feedback you received and apply it. Create an action plan based on constructive criticism with specific steps to address any of the concerns or issues brought up in the feedback. You can even schedule a time to discuss this action plan and the resulting changes with the person who offered the critique to gain even more constructive feedback on your improvements or action plan. While human nature makes us hesitant to accept criticism, it's important to recognize that constructive criticism from the right source can be an invaluable tool for improvement. So be willing to look past your initial reaction to the feedback, ask questions on how you can improve, and most importantly, put the constructive criticism into action. 
And now that you know the five tips, you can make the most of the constructive criticism you receive to live a better life and achieve more success. Now, the question today is this, have you ever received constructive criticism that was difficult to hear? And how did you deal with it? Leave a comment below and Brian will be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching. And remember, as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you about my number one secret for improving relationships, work, life, and everything in between, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.